The Deputy Premier is offering a solution to end the long-running stoush over airport rail. Ben Carroll says if Melbourne Airport wants to put its $7 billion offer back on the table, they'll consider building the line underground. The Deputy Premier had one eye on school funding, the other on airport rail. I see. Well, and I can those. Because Ben Carroll, the MP for Nidri, desperately wants a station in East Kewlaw, and it can't be built without the Tullamarine Line. That station will be delivered. I will not be leaving Parliament until it's delivered. The problem is Melbourne Airport and the Allen government can't agree on the rail line being above or below ground. But with Ben Carroll's station in limbo, he has a solution. If the offer still stands, we'll take the money, uh, please, and let's get on and build it. That offer is the $7 billion Melbourne Airport offered up and the Andrews government knocked back in 2019. $7 billion? In combined combination with the 10 billion from the Commonwealth and the state, that makes it, I think, on my math, 17 billion dollar project. We'll be able to get it done tomorrow. And if Melbourne Airport coughs up more cash, our preference is above ground. But if we can look at how they want to fully fund an underground, also potentially in need of more funding is the Westgate Tunnel. Its builders are now suing engineers over design errors. I think we've continuously budgeted for. Um, the Westgate Tunnel. The Westgate Tunnel was originally estimated to cost taxpayers five billion dollars. It's now a ten billion dollar project. Those blowouts combined with the latest design debacle has the state opposition calling for an audit of the entire project. Victorians need to know what the issues were in the first place, how much they cost and how much will they cost going forward. Chanel Vella, 7 News. The family house made fun.